And that right there is someone firing a gun early this morning in the middle of a protest gathering in downtown Portland. No one was hurt here, but this is just another example of the ongoing tensions connected to these late night protests. Police, by the way, now looking for the shooter involved in that. Our Pat Doris reports. Cell phones captured the moments just after 1.30 Thursday morning. Someone in a white Kia appears to be out of their vehicle near the Elk statue in downtown Portland. They and others appear to get back in their vehicle, and as they're driving away, police say they are now looking for the shooter. A license plate captured in the video shows the car registered to someone in the Salem area, but we were not able to track down the owner. Gunfire anywhere in the city concerns me. Um, because we're in the business of public safety. Police Chief Chuck Lavelle said this is one of 29 instances of gunfire in Portland in just the last nine days. He said cutting the gun violence reduction team when the city defunded part of the police bureau meant the loss of a valuable resource for investigating these shootings. But he's also especially worried about the shooting in the middle of a protest. And when you have people firing guns indiscriminately where there are crowds, um, it's just so dangerous and people can get hurt. So that, that definitely is a concern. The chief said the nearly nightly violence downtown means longer wait times for people who need help outside the city's core. I asked if he thinks the city council should be more forceful denouncing the violence. This isn't just a police problem. This is a community problem, a city problem. Um, everyone, I think, has a role in speaking out um, against violence. And we're not talking against uh, peaceful protests or people who are even upset and angry. Um, voicing their displeasure. Chief Lavelle said he recently talked with small businesses who were being hurt by the protests and was touched by their stories. He supports peaceful protests and even those who are angry. But when folks are here just, you know, doing extensive damage to city property, uh, to people's businesses, people who are trying their best to eke out a livelihood amidst this pandemic and uh, their suffering, I think everyone has a role in coming out and uh, speaking out against that. In Southwest Portland, Pat Doris, KGW News.